Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is a video request from my good friend Henry. Uh, he wants to know a little bit more about local GPOs and deploying it with Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2012, MDT for short, and how to install Security Compliance Manager. Now, both of these topics go hand in hand, so it's going to be two separate videos. Uh, the first one that I have to do is Security Compliance Manager. That's the first thing that you guys need to, to install. Now I'm going to provide all the links that you guys need uh, to get all the installation files as well as my blog site because I'm going to be having extra notes over there. So this is the site that you need to go to to download the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager. Now the system requirements is Windows 7 or Windows 8. You also need to download Microsoft Word Viewer if you don't have Office installed and also a Microsoft Office compatibility pack for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint file format. So these are the three things that you guys need to do. Now this is the link for the Word Viewer and this is the other link for the Office pack. Okay, Again, I'm going to provide all these links at the bottom of the description so you guys can grab it. Now I'm actually doing all this on a Windows 8.1 virtual machine. This is a testing one. Uh, as you saw, I just clicked on the dialog box. I've been having a lot of issues with the SkyDrive that's been crashing. So that's one of the bugs with 8.1. So I'm actually going to show you guys that this is 8.1 that I'm running all this in. So let me go into this this PC and let's go to computer system properties and uh, 8.1 Pro. okay so these are all the files I already installed the word viewer and the file format converter okay uh, I don't think there's a specific order but the order that I did was I installed word view first and then I installed the file format converter now you probably see in the folder of the SCM, which is Security Compliance Manager, uh, you probably see SQL Management Studio. Now I installed uh, Management Studio is because uh, SCM has a database and I like to connect to that database to you know manipulate it. So you, this is optional if you guys want to do that. So let's start again. Core requirements for this to, to work is you need Windows 7 or Windows 8. Okay, I'm doing 8.1, so hopefully it will work out. You also need to download the Word Viewer and the File Format Converter. Again, all these all these links are going to be at the bottom of the description, so you guys can download it. So let's start. I'm going to double click on the Security Compliance Manager setup. I'm going to hit Yes for the user account control. It started uh, to extract the files. This is a good thing. Hopefully, this is a good thing. It looks like the security compliance manager installation is checking all the prerequisites. Hopefully I have everything that I need. If I don't, it will prompt me that I need this and that. So I basically need to go get that stuff fixed out before uh, I, it can actually start the installation successfully. It looks like it's installing Microsoft Visual C++ 2010. So this is pretty cool. Got the dialog box. I accept the terms. I hit install. Again, right now it's installing what it needs for it to work properly. Uh, I, I do love these ex these uh, installation packages because it just has everything that it needs. Installation for the Microsoft Visual C++ is completed successfully. We're going to hit finish. And as you can see, the dialog box right here, the prompt, it's violating the Security Compliance Manager installation prerequisites. It's launching the installation right now, so that means it's, it looks like it's working, which is pretty cool looks like I got the dialog box awesome uh, I'm gonna leave always check SEM and baseline updates because I want to keep this stuff up to date again you're manipulating GPOs for the Windows 7 uh, Windows 8 and I'm, I'm a, I believe the Windows 2012 and 2008 uh, family so you want to keep that stuff up to date so it has let's hit next uh, it looks like I need a computer restart I need a computer restart. The computer restart is required. The SQL Server Express database instant cannot be installed or removed when a restart is pending. Please restart the local computer and rerun the setup wizard. So let's do that. So let me hit finish. 
and it looks like I need to restart my machine it's probably all the the Visual C++ that I it just installed so let's uh, restart the machine and once it comes back up we will launch the manager again and we're back so my uh, machine rebooted and I believe it rebooted because it installed the Visual C++ 2010 so I'm gonna go back into my SEM uh, folder and let's start the installation again because again that's one of the warnings that it gave me I needed to restart so we're gonna do the user account control I'm gonna close this folder up because I don't need it anymore and it's checking the installation prerequisite again so hopefully everything should pass I already got Visual C++ already installed and right now it's gonna launch the the installation so hopefully I, I pass okay make sure you check this off hit next excellent we're gonna accept hit next now this is really up to you I'm gonna leave it at the default as a C drive but I really recommend you move it to like a partition drive you're gonna hit next like I mentioned before uh, this SCM installs uh, SQL Server so that's the reason why I installed the manager because I wanted to manipulate the database so we're gonna accept the terms on this we're gonna go next and we're gonna install now right now it's installing the SQL Server Express and once it does that it's gonna start installing the the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager okay so once that completes uh, I see you when it completes all right and we're back it looks like the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager has completed successfully awesome we're gonna hit finish and once I hit finish then going to go into our start menu and we're going to go into our app section and we are going to locate our um, SCM now as you can see right here I got a local GPO folder kind of thing going so what I'm gonna do is click on that and this is like the manager lo local it looks like it automatically started the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager which is pretty awesome as you can see it's importing all the baselines for all of the uh, applications like Exchange Internet Explorer uh, pretty soon you're gonna see Windows 7 and Windows 8 office 2007 2010 so that's pretty cool and that's it once the baselines are completed you're good to go to start creating your GPO your local GPO so you could push it out to MDT uh, so as you can see all the baseline has imported uh, I don't know which one Henry is gonna be doing but I'm gonna work with uh, Windows 8 so I'm gonna expand this guy out and as you can see it has a bunch of baselines I'm gonna do uh, let's go Windows 8 computer security so as you can see Windows 8 computer security has about 310 unique settings that you guys could configure and that's a lot of settings and uh, because it's Windows 8 you can have more I think with Windows 7 uh, it's not too many so let's go to Windows 7 service pack 1 and Windows 7 service pack 1 has about 261 so that's a lot as well uh, again you can click on whichever one you guys want you're not able to edit right away because you gotta actually make a duplicate copy and uh, create your local GPL that's gonna be on the next video this is on the installation so on the next video I'm gonna show you how how to manipulate a GPO and where to save it how to save it and then on the next video next next video will be how to import it into NDT and how to use it so hopefully you guys enjoyed how to install the Microsoft Security Compliance Manager uh, again all the links will be at the description part so check that out uh, also check out there's gonna be an annotation somewhere around this video to click on so you guys can check out the following video which is how to start editing these settings as well as how to export them there's different options to export them and uh, that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed please give me thumbs up and I will catch you guys later peace out